So let's talk about some of the different chord shapes that we have. Okay. So uh, definitely the most common shapes are going to be the major and the minor. Okay. So if we look at, say, the E minor shape, okay, that shape, for the E minor, it's 4, 4, 3, and 2. But that shape is a minor chord. So it's always a minor chord no matter where we play it. Okay, so that shape is a good shape to know for a minor chord. So you find a root note that you want. So, uh, let's see. So, say, uh, this one here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so F sharp. Okay, and you play. So that, oh, I'm sorry, so that's the sixth fret on the C string. Okay, so that sixth fret on the C string is an F sharp. And then if we make that shape, it's now an F-sharp minor chord. Okay? So, without, say, starting on, say, the E minor and then figuring out the F-sharp minor, we're starting with the note F-sharp and putting that shape to it. Okay? So, another shape, another good shape to know is the major shape. Okay, so for the F sharp major that I'm playing right here, it's six, 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 and four. Okay, so that's a good shape to know that major shape. Okay, uh, another, and we want to keep the shapes kind of movable shapes, make them a little bit easier, um, but we can definitely use shapes with the open okay so well you know what here okay we'll go with F okay because I um, previously I had done a lot with the A anyway so the F <clears throat> so what I'm playing is two zero one zero so that's the frets so now if we move it up, the zeros also have to come up. So, so now what I'm doing is I'm playing across the first fret with this first finger and playing three, one, two, one. And that's now an F sharp major. Okay? So you can find different ways to play different chords using some of these different shapes. Okay, so this shape is now a nice shape to play for majors. So it's F sharp major, so that's G major, G sharp major, A major. So different ways to play that shape. And then we have, say, the G minor shape which is zero, two, three, one. Okay, now if we move it up, that zero has to come up too. So, I'm playing that. So now it's one, three, four, two. One, three, four, two. And that's a shape. So, if we wanted to play, uh, say, an A sharp minor chord, okay, we could find the A sharp on the sixth fret of the uh, E string. And that's A sharp minor. Easy, right? So it's just 
just that shape. So that's also another good shape to know. Um, for minors, I like this shape here. So this here would be a, a B minor. Yes. Yeah, B minor. So I'm playing the fourth fret, second, second, second. And then is B major. That's also another good shape to know. Four, three, two, two. So the B minor, B flat minor, or A minor, uh, a, or A flat minor, uh, A sharp minor. Good grief. Okay, and then A minor, because I had already moved my hand to that if you re rewind the video. So I was already thinking like A minor right there. Um, but, so there's some good shapes to know. This is the minor with the, the way that I'm playing it with the root note under my pinky. Okay. This is also a minor with the root note underneath this finger, or also on the second fret of the A string. Same note. Um, this is a major with the uh, root note underneath this finger, or also on that last string there underneath my first finger barring. Uh, so. That's a shape, that's a shape, uh, that's a shape. So always wear um, the shape, like back to the E minor, I seem to keep going to that. Okay, the root note is under my pinky. So no matter where I put it, the root note is still going to be under my pinky. So if I decide to uh, play some other chord using that shape, I'm going to put my pinky on it and fill in the rest of that shape, the rest of where my fingers go to play a minor chord, and I'm now playing a new minor chord. So E minor, E sharp, uh, F minor, F sharp minor. Okay, so the shapes are good to know too. So there's a few different ways that you can go about um, moving the chords around on a ukulele to come up with the different shapes. Um, oh, and sevenths are good to know. This is a nice seventh shape. Uh, here I'm playing an E7, four, 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 uh, with that finger, and then five. Nice and easy with the um, root note being on the C string at the 4th fret for this here, it's at the 3rd fret, but still the C string underneath this finger that's barring across. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. It's good to know the different shapes, the majors and minors and sevenths and things like that, and then also to know where um, the root notes are that you can now build those new chord shapes to. So. Hopefully that makes sense and helps you out.